Um, hello and welcome to this video on uh, uh, that's basically about uh, using the TI-84 um, to solve uh, matrix expressions or to manipulate matrices, matrices or generally about how to basically solve AX equals B, uh, uh, the linear algebra equation with matrices AX equal B using a uh, Texas Instruments TI-84 calculator. So anyway, this is the calculator we're going to use in this video. Uh, if you have uh, a TI-83 or a TI-83+, plus, uh, or even just a regular TI-84, like as you can see, this is a TI-84+, plus, uh, this, this video will basically be the same exact thing. The buttons might be in a slightly different uh, location, specifically the matrix button might be different, but you should be perfectly fine watching this. Um, this video also fits into like a larger uh, scheme of videos where we were doing nodal analysis on a circuit to get uh, this expression. This is our AX equals B expression that we did in this past video. But if you're just watching this out of order, or you're not really, you don't really care about circuits, you just want to learn how to do AX equals B, uh, then th that's perfectly fine. You can watch this video just to figure out how to put uh, AX equals B into a TI-84. So anyway, we've got our expression AX equals B here, and uh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully you've had a little bit of linear algebra to know that essentially what we're looking for is X, and uh, with my expression AX equals B, if I multiply, if I'm able to invert my A matrix, and I multiply that inverse matrix on uh, the right-hand side of essentially both sides of my equal sign, so I'm able to multiply both sides of my, my equation, uh, and it is important that this has to happen on the right-hand side, by my inverse matrix, by A inverse, then after I simplify this, A inverse times A gives me my identity, which is essentially like multiplying by one, and then I end up with this expression. I end up with the x vector, my vector of unknowns, and that's what this is right here, x is what I'm looking for, is equal to my A inverse matrix multiplied by my B, by my B matrix. And it's really important that this multiplication has to happen in this order. So anyway, let's go ahead and just use the TI-84 to solve this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my TI-84, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this A matrix. So let me go ahead and turn the calculator on. So the calculator is now on. I'm at the home screen, and what I want to do is I want to get to my matrix menu. So I'm, my matrix menu is the second function above my X inverse button here. So I'm going to do second X inverse, and now I get this uh, matrix menu. So if you've never used uh, the matrices in your calculator, it'll probably look something like this. Once you start using it, uh, these dimensions might fill up a column down, uh, down here. If you have a calculator that you bought used or something like that, you might have a whole bunch of dimensions down here. That basically just means that uh, you or someone else has been using the matrices before, that there's data still in those matrices. So anyway, we are currently at the names column, and the first thing we're going to do, because we want to put in this matrix, we want to scroll over to our edit column. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit the right arrow twice, so that's once I'm on the math column, and now I'm on the edit column. So I'm on the edit column, and I've still got my matrix A selected, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to say that I want to edit my matrix A, so enter. And now what I want to do is I want to put in my matrix A. So A is a three row by three column matrix. So I'm going to say that this is a three enter by three enter. So I didn't change anything. The A was already a three by three matrix, but you it, good idea to just go ahead and put the, put the dimensions in again. And now I'm going to put in all of this information. Notice one thing about this. I'm not going to simplify this a, at all by hand. I'm going to let the calculator do all of the work uh, to simplify this because the calculator is less likely to make a mistake on this than, than I am. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this in. So that's one, enter. One divided by six, enter. One divided by four, enter, zero, enter, so now I'm on this part, so this is the part that I'm not going to simplify, I'm going to let the calculator simplify it for me, open paren, minus one over six, minus one over twelve, close paren, minus one over fifteen, push enter, 
And now I'm at 1 over 12, 1 over 12. Down here I've got 0. Then I've got 1 over 12. And then finally I've got minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 12. And that's pretty much it. I've got my A matrix completely into my calculator. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to second quit out of that. And, and also notice I didn't have to save my A matrix after that. It's all right. After I, after I enter in each one of these entries, the, the A matrix gets saved, so I don't have to worry about that. And if I wanted to grab that A matrix uh, and get it to my home screen so I could do stuff with it, I would go back to my matrix menu, second matrix, and I could just grab under the names column if I grab this variable, so I'm going to push enter. So I push enter, and now I've got my A matrix here so I can essentially do stuff with it. You know, I can print out that A matrix. Uh, I can actually invert, so I'm doing second entry to get my A matrix back. I can invert that A matrix, so I'm going to do A raised to the minus one power. That's going to compute this inverse that we would have for the A matrix. So there, the calculator just computed uh, A inverse. Um, let me see if I can do A squared real quick. A, or no, I don't want second entry. A squared. Oh, it does do that. Yeah, so that pretty much computed A times A, because A is a 3 by 3, so I get out of 3 by 3. So anyway, you can get, that's how you get your your variable name for your A matrix and you can manipulate that, that matrix. So this is different than uh, the TI-89 where the TI-89 you could just store those store matrices into any variable you wanted. Uh, in the TI-84 and TI-83 you have specific matrix variables that, that you can use. And notice also something, uh, another big difference between TI-83 and TI-84. I can only have real numbers in my matrix. I can't have, you know, 1 plus 2i, or, or if you're an electrical engineer like me, 1 plus 2j. I can't have uh, imaginary numbers or complex numbers uh, going into any of these matrices. I can only have uh, real numbers here. So anyway, that's enough of that. I guess uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to put in our B matrix. So let me go ahead and get the B matrix set up. So I'm going to clear everything. Second matrix again. So I go back to my matrix menu. And now I want to edit. So I'm going to go over to the edit menu. Write once, write twice. So I'm over at the edit menu. And now what I want to do is I want to edit my B matrix. So I go down one unit. Now I'm going to push enter so I can edit my B matrix. So now it's set me up with a one by one matrix, but I want a three row, one column matrix for my B, for my, uh, for my uh, B vector. So I'm going to have a three enter by one enter matrix. So now I just go ahead and put in this data. I get 3.3 .3 divide by six plus 3.3 .3 divide by four. Okay, that's the first one. Next, I have minus 3.3 .3 over 6, minus 3.3 .3 divided by 6. And now for the last one, I have minus 3.3 .3 divided by 4, minus 1. And that's it. I've got my B vector uh, into the calculator. So now the very last step is I just have to get back to the home screen, and I just have to compute this. I want my X vector, so if I'm just able to compute... A inverse times B, then I'll get my X vector. So let's just go ahead and do that. Second quit, I'm back at my home screen. I'm going to get an open parentheses, then do second matrix. I'm on the names column because I want to grab that variable and be able to use it in my home screen. So I'm on the names column. I select my variable A, my matrix variable A. I'm going to invert it by using this X to the minus one key. So A inverse close parentheses, times, I go back to my matrix menu, second matrix, and now I select the second option for matrix B. Hit enter. Now I've got A inverse times my matrix B. Can you see that that's exactly this expression here? And then I just hit enter, it evaluates it, and this is my answer for X. So for this particular problem, I1 is minus 0.77, V0 is 3.40, and V3 is 6.325, I guess. 
Uh, so anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. Hopefully you found this useful, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.